Sing to the mountain, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. strength and my soul. Sing to the mountain, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your heart. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. That's my wish for each one of you, my sisters and brothers, that the Trinity be with you, with me, as we celebrate this Eucharist, God's blessings for us. Hearty welcome to all religious sisters in your communities, families, brothers and sisters, youth, children, fathers, and uh, religious brothers. Somebody asked me why I don't speak religious brothers. Uh, you're also welcome. I, I didn't re refer to you so far because uh, I, not, not a single religious brother wrote to me. So I, was, I wasn't sure you were there, but if you are there, hearty welcome once again to religious brothers also. God bless you. You're part of our family. We pray, we begin a new week today, friends, and we pray for God's blessings on us. I pray for a uh, safe week, a happy week, a holy week for us, that you and I, all of us together, jointly helping each other uh, grow in spiritually during the week. We grow, we are safe physically, none of us gets infected, get sick, but we grow emotionally, binding, but bound more with the family, with your community, and uh, becoming better disciples, living more and more a Christian life. Let's begin the sacrifice now, conscious of God's presence among us, asking him to forgive our sins, to purify us. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us. Grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please sit for the readings. A reading from the prophet Mika. Listen to what the Lord is saying. Stand up and let the case begin in the hearing of the mountains, and let the hills hear what you say. Listen, you mountains, to the Lord's accusation. Give ear, you foundations of the earth. For the Lord is accusing his people, pleading against Israel. My people, what have I done to you? How have I been a burden to you? Answer me. I brought you out of the land of Egypt. I rescued you from the house of slavery. I sent Moses to lead you with Aaron and Miriam. With what gift shall I come into the Lord's presence and bow down before God on on high? Shall I come with holocausts, with calves one year old? Will he be pleased with rams by the thousands? with libations of oil in torrents. 
must I give my firstborn for what I have done wrong, the fruit of my body for my own sin? What is good has been explained to you, man. This is what the Lord asks of you. Only this, to act justly, to love tenderly, and to walk humbly with your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response to God's word is, I will show God's salvation to the upright. Altogether, I will show God's salvation to the upright. Summon before me my people who made covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens proclaim his justice. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You averted all their rage. You calm the heat of your anger. Our response, I will show God's salvation to the upright. Revive us now, God, our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? Our response, I will show God's salvation to the upright. Will you not restore again our life? that your people may rejoin, rejoice in you. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. Our response, I will show God's salvation to the upright. Kindly stand as we prepare our hearts for the gospel. Alleluia, 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 Allelu, alleluia. Harden not your hearts today, but listen to the voice of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. But he answered them, An evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign, but no sign shall be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a whale, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh will arise at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah. Behold, something greater than Jonah is here. The Queen of the South will arise at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Samaria, the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, something greater than Solomon is here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters and friends, the readings of today's Mass are once again so very rich and so much to tell us. The first reading from the prophet I, Micah, I introduced you to him yesterday, and him to you yesterday. Uh, he was born in 750, I said, and uh, one of the minor prophets. But some of his readings are uh, so full of meaning and uh, I wonder you would have some of you might, I'm sure have recognized one couple of lines from this first reading oh my people what have I done to you what have I wearied you answer me for I brought you up from the land of Egypt and redeemed you from the house of bondage this is the if you remember on Good Friday 
This is when the antiphons which is sung, O oh my people, uh, when they are uh, lining up to venerate the cross. Jesus is there on the cross venerating him. And as it were, Jesus is asking, what have I done that, that you have done this to me? Here, the prophet Micah, these words that's from here, it's taken into our liturgy on Good Friday. And this whole passage, uh, Micah chapter 6, is, uh, it's a dialogue. It's not very clear, unfortunately, because it doesn't say. The first one is, hear what the Lord says. So God is, as it were, telling the mountains, it's all, there's a big court, and God is telling them, uh, now hear you mountains, what I'm saying. And then, in the presence of the whole of nature, God tells Israel, what have I done to you that you're unfaithful to me, not adoring me, not obeying me? And uh, the, the question again is the response to God, how shall I adore God? With what shall I come before the Lord? And at the end, uh, it said, should I come with a young calf? Should I come with my firstborn? What, what sacrifice should I give you? And God's answer, the very last line, again, I want to repeat it, so very, very important. Uh, he has showed you, O man, what is good, what the Lord requires of you. What does the Lord require of you? But to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly before the Lord. This is really the summary of what Mika says, the summary of, of the whole prophet. And he's summarizing, friends, uh, he's summarizing what the prophets have said. You've got to do justice. The prophet Amos was consistently saying, do justice, behave justly, don't exploit. I mentioned that, don't exploit the people. He was angry about that. And this prophet Micah also repeats that. So don't, don't be unjust to people. The rich should not oppress the poor. Love kindness. This was the prophet Hosea, always spoke of love, how God loves his people, how we should love him back again. And to walk humbly, this is in a way a summary of the prophet Isaiah's teaching, where Isaiah uh, whole time speaks of obedience. Isaiah is the one, you know, remember the one who confronted Ahaz and the one when they were uh, not worshipping the whole thing of Baal, prophet ba the God they, on Mount Carmel. The, the priest of Baal offered sacrifice and Isaiah offered sacrifice. So he was saying, walk humbly before the Lord, adore the Lord. This is a summary of all that the prophet said. So that's also a message to you and to me. That The theological message, friends, is that God does not want a sacrifice to replace your morality. He doesn't want cult offering, praying in church to... Uh, replace a good life but he wants a good life a morality which also includes sacrifice also includes prayer that's really a very deep message and want, uh, I want to reflect you reflect on that uh, what God wants above us and then Jesus kept on saying that more and more no telling us that what I want is really your hearts your lives your lives you say heart loving God but show that you love God by the way you behave on earth with your brothers and sisters, with society, with nature. That really is a very rich uh, reading from, from the prophet Micah. In the gospel, they ask for a sign. And uh, Jesus says, and even an ad adulterous generation asks for a sign. Adulterous in the sense that uh, Hosea had said, Yahweh is married to the people because he made a covenant with them. When you don't worship God, you're committing adultery. That's, that's the meaning of this word in the Old Testament. Unfaithful to God, disobeying God, not worshipping God, not living. And Jesus says that I will not give you a sign. The only sign is from of that of Jonah. Uh, one question that might strike you, and I want to answer it before we conclude, is that uh, Jesus, uh, when the apostle Thomas asked for a sign, Unless I put my hand in his, my finger in his hand, and my hand in his side, I won't believe. He wanted a sign uh, to believe. Here again, they asked for a sign. They, Jesus gave a sign. He came one week later and showed himself to Thomas. Here he said, I'm not going to give any sign. 
that's the that's Jonas is a sign. They didn't understand what he was saying. Jesus is evidently speaking of his death and resurrection. That he'll be for three days in the earth, three, in the belly of the earth, three days in the grave before rising. Three days. I want to also explain to you uh, in the Jewish counting, part of a day is considered a day. Friday he was uh, uh, buried. Jesus, Good Friday. That's considered one day. All of Saturday. Sunday morning he rose. Those few hours again are considered. That's why three. That's why they say he rose again on the third day. That's the way they used to count. But here Jesus says, uh, doesn't give them a sign. Why? Because Thomas believed and wanted to believe even more, wanted to have deep in his faith. He believed in Jesus, but didn't, his eyes were not fully opened. These people asking for a sign are asking more to trap him. They do not, do not, do not believe at all. It's more a sarcastic thing. There is no desire to learn. If they were sincere and really wanted him, him to show uh, Jesus would have given some answer to them. Here he completely ignores them. And he has worked miracles before. Healed the sick, uh, given sight to the blind, even raised, risen the dead. They know that. They've just seen some uh, passage before that he has healed a man born blind. So they ask a question, but they do not want to hear. They uh, see the miracle, but do not want to see the deeper meaning. That's why Jesus did not reply to them. So all of us, you and I, message to us, when we really want, we must believe and ask Jesus really of our difficulties, our faith, even our faith. I ask him to strengthen our faith. You ask, I'll ask. And that helps us. None of us has got full faith. None of us can understand everything of the Lord. But we need to pray to the Lord. Lord, increase our faith. Lord, uh, show us that you are there. This pandemic also, I know there are a lot of questions in your mind. Pray to the Lord. And if you ask genuinely, he will give you an answer. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness for this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in his divinity, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness with this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased, receive the sacrifice which we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my sins and cleanse me from my iniquity. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy, as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. Truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels, and in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced in a life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, to you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be our glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Sisters, brothers, let us pray to our Father in heaven in the very words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you avoid, await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, and the, and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer the sign of peace. Christ's peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O divine guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, O Lord, we pray, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thanks once again for the participation. God bless each one of you today and the whole week. We are, I'm praying for you for the whole week. We pray for each other for the whole week. Today is Monday, Scripture Day. And therefore, we'll have today, uh, I've asked uh, Father Walter, who's uh, now specializing in scripture, to speak to us, and he's in, not here, he's in Pune, one of our professors in the seminary, and he'll speak to us on the Gospel of Mark. Uh, you and I are looking forward to hearing from him. God bless you. Have a lovely day. God bless
we pray now for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Put on the armor of Jesus Christ Build up your strength in the Lord Gird yourself with His truth Carry faith as a shield The good news is sword in your hand Let your lights be good and your lamps alight Waiting for the day when the Master comes May He find you watching when He returns He'll come like a thief in the night Put on the armor of Jesus Christ Build up your strength in the Lord Cut yourself with His truth Carry faith as a shield The good news is sword in your hand